Hey guys, today is going to be a grocery haul and we're switching it up a bit. This week is, or this month I should say, is Costco. We haven't been to Costco in a very long time. Long, long time. So this haul was about $435, somewhere around there. We had a $10 like rewards for having the what is the membership where you get cash back? That one, the executive one from the last one. This time that we renewed, we just got the regular membership. Um, so I did get $10 of it as a coupon. And some of the stuff was on sale. You know how sometimes they have like $250, $350 off on some of the things? Some of this stuff was on sale. Honestly, this isn't all the grocery shopping we're going to do. We're going to have to do a few basic things at the regular grocery store. There are a few things that I don't pick up from Costco, um, namely the eggs and bread and some of the meat products. They're, the prices are just not as affordable as some of the bulk items. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So starting over here, we have some La Leggera, which is um, sweetened condensed milk. Andras uses this for um, horchata. We also got some mandarin oranges in syrup and peaches, the little individual things. Um, I had been looking for this, the Kekimo Less Sodium Soy Sauce. They don't have the large one at the regular grocery store, so I picked this up. Some jalapenos for my Henny Vinny. He goes through those like crazy. Some Go Go Squeeze, the organic applesauce on the go, and it did, this one does come with a few different flavors. This was on sale, so I thought I would give it a try. Almonds, these are a better deal at Costco than they are at my grocery store. So this was 48 ounces. Is it 40? Yep, 48 ounces for like 12 bucks. Just the raw almonds. Some bacon crumbles for salad. We got some granola with almonds down there. Some salad topper. This is just like sunflower seeds, dried cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. I haven't had almond butter in so long, so I picked up one to try. Some avocado oil. We've never tried this. So we thought we would give it a shot. Some of the canola oil cooking spray. That's what we use right now. Pack of the chocolate snack pack extra creamy pudding for the curls. Um, this was a great deal too. I think this was like six bucks for 36 cups. Some Nature Valley protein bars. These are the peanut butter and dark chocolate. We got some spices. I got some parsley flakes, some Montreal steak seasoning, taco seasoning, onion powder, which I found a large onion powder at Walmart and it was $9. This was $4.99 for a larger one. I'm really upset that I paid that much. Some cinnamon, some sweet mesquite seasoning. I don't know really what that would be good for, but I picked it up. Crushed red pepper for my hinibini. Some basil, oregano. Uh, we got some mango nectar juice. Some of the rest really likes that. Bertoli, organic olive, olive oil, basil, and garlic to, um, marinara sauce. This is roasted raspberry chipotle sauce. This would sound like we have a strawberry chipotle sauce. This seems like it would be really good over cream cheese with crackers as like an appetizer. The strawberry one is really good, so I can imagine that one's just as good. We also picked up some organic fruity snacks for the girls. I thought we would try these. Typically, we just buy regular fruit snacks, but I thought, I don't know, maybe those are better. They're organic. Who knows? <laughs> some of the organic little pretzel chips for the girls. Some boom chicka pop and then some sea salt veggie straws. Over here they had these sampled and they looked really good. And I mean they tasted really good. These are pretzel slider buns and she just put some butter on them and they were super good. Two big things of the burrito size tortillas. These come with 40 and we got two of them because we are going to make a bunch of freezer breakfast burritos like we did when I was pregnant with Autumn. So we got those. Big 10 pound bag of apples. Two pound thing of strawberries, um, how many, four pounds of red grapes. I think these were a pretty good deal. I want to say these were $6.99 for four pounds, which isn't too, too bad. Uh, we got this cheese, which I've never used before, but apparently Andres said, I can't even, how do you pronounce that, baby? Queso Oaxaca. Oaxaca? Queso Oaxaca. Um, and it says it's melting cheese, part skim milk cheese, and it looks like it's just, he said it's kind of like like a mozzarella string cheese uh, but you can use this for like all kinds of stuff quesadillas and things so this was not cheap <laughs> no, I think this was like $14 so we're gonna give that a shot we got two uh, so five pounds total of the shredded cheddar jack cheese 
I like this. Actually, one of the ladies in the store was like, you can freeze the other bag, so I may try that and just have one bag out at a time. They had a larger bag of just cauliflower florets, and I've been loving roasting my vegetables lately, so I got those. I got a two-pound bag of the already cut French green beans. Some of the organic antioxidant blend. This is really great for smoothies. This one has strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, cherries, and pomegranate. And then I also got just the basic, the three berry blend with raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. These were on sale for $3 off, so I picked up some more of the English muffins. The one that is made with turkey sausage, egg white, and cheese. I saw this in a bunch of recipes on YouTube. Basil pesto. So I decided to pick that up. Um, we got the low sodium bacon. This is going to be just for like breakfasts and stuff. And then also we're going to do um, sausage and egg uh, breakfast burritos and bacon and egg breakfast burritos. These chicken meatballs, we've had them before, teriyaki and pineapple. Super delicious, but we also picked up some homestyle turkey meatballs. I thought this would be good. It's organic hummus, just regular, but it's in a single serving. And one serving is 160 calories, 12 grams of fat, um, four protein, 10 carbs. So I thought this would be good to like take to work and stuff, just a little bit more convenient. And then I did get some cage-free egg whites, like the liquid egg whites to mix with our whole eggs. Bag of the Alexia sweet potato fries. I feel like I got some of these with my last large haul and I haven't used them but I picked some up anyway <laughs> and then some uh, tortilla crusted tilapia this is so good it's lime seasoned with a uh, lime crust so so good if you guys haven't tried this it's on the price you said but it's delicious we got some organic mixed vegetables this one has carrots corn peas and green beans I got two bags of that this is pretty reasonably priced for being organic as well some extra lean all natural turkey burgers. So you can see there, they're pretty thick. This is four pounds total. And it says one burger is about five ounces. So a little more than a quarter of a pound per turkey burger. And then the last thing we got was this uh, breaded chicken breast tenderloins from Tyson with the panko crumbs. This is so delicious. This is probably one of our favorite little chicken dishes so this is our freezer we have our tubes of turkey down there um i think that's beef chicken all the chicken right here yeah. vegetables and there's vegetables even behind here i mean we excuse me we've got stacks and stacks of vegetables and more vegetables there we have some stuff here some meat i mean like shrimp chicken i mean shrimp salmon stuff like that Stuff here, my frozen pancakes, more veggies, some chicken, the tilapia, frozen meals, and behind here we have some things as well, and then there is the side. So my freezer is pretty much at capacity. That's why I really didn't buy much meat because we had a ton. Here's my pantry before, and honestly, um, my pantry wasn't, I mean, it, was, it wasn't looking too, too bad. I still have quite a bit of stuff. Um, but most of it's been, like, large bulk pantry things that are going to be stacked at the bottom, to be honest. And then my fridge was the thing that was looking, I mean, again, it, it's all kind of up to the person. It was looking a little, compared to what it was looking like, it was looking a little bare in here. Um... I mean, still got some fruits going on there and oranges back there. Still got some veggies that we're having for dinner tonight. So, not really that much compared to what we've had before. Okay, so here's the pantry. I don't think, just added a couple things here and a couple things there. We didn't add too much there. Hmm, let's see, no cereal this time. Protein bars, almond butter. The cooking spray and the soy sauce added a bunch of stuff back here I think that was about it added some almonds so the bulk of it was added down here um, the three bags of pretzels veggie chips boom chicka pop the um, puddings the fruit the leche cream fruit snacks that stuff yeah so it wasn't too bad in the pantry this is a little freezer just some um, added some uh, of the frozen fruit in there 
This is the other half of what could be a freezer. However, we keep it as a like fridge to hold alcohol and extra juice. And this I have kind of made into the girls like little snack area. So when Emmy gets home from a, from school or whatever, um, they want to take a snack to go. I put the go-go squeezes in here. They have their fruit cups and some of their puddings in here. And I didn't open up the other puddings because they still have some open. I want to get some yogurt smoothies as well or little containers of yogurt so they can grab those. But I'll get that from the regular grocery store. Now here's what I'm used to my fridge looking like. So I kind of rearranged some things up here to fit things uh, a little bit better with my yogurts and my cheeses. And then I just added in here the few vegetables that I had. I didn't add any fruit in here because I knew the apples wouldn't fit and I didn't want to overcrowd it. So I just kind of layered up all my things. Juices, bacon, my salad stuff. I have leftovers in this area right here. And then that stuff there. And then back there I have like containers that are already open. So obviously this was a quicker Costco haul than my typical grocery hauls because to be honest, Costco things are a lot more pricey per item because you're buying in bulk, which is totally fine. Um, we definitely did not round out our entire grocery collection as you can see I bought no meat from Costco like I said I just feel like the meat is not as reasonably priced compared to what I can get at the grocery store the rest of the stuff is pretty reasonably priced to where I feel like I'm getting a better deal and I also bought no canned goods canned goods at Costco are not a good deal you can definitely get them cheaper at the regular grocery store so I did make a list for things that I'm going to be needing at the grocery store because like I said there will be a few things that I'll need to pick up um, in addition to what we have here but not a ton I will film that haul um, whenever the time comes <laughs> I may not go till the end of the week because I work a lot this week I think we have enough to kind of put in between what we already have to make meals and we definitely had a lot of meat left over so this was a pretty good size haul for us I mean $435 at Costco does not get you that much you can see you can see that but these things will last us a long time so anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed my Costco haul let me know in the comments down below what you thought and we'll see you in the next one